All right, guys, so as you guys saw in the title, I'm going to be restoring my old Ultra Boost, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm sorry that I have lately been um, not making any videos. Um, uh, I had a graduation week, and I also uh, forgot to post on Thursday, which I didn't even have a video on Thursday to do. So um, I'm sorry about that. So I may or may not be getting a haircut today, so I don't know if that's a possible thing. But if it is, you guys are going to see me with a, a fresh cut, um, making me making the video of restoring my old Ultra Boost that I really miss. And um, for sure, it's um, going to be a fun video for me and uh, maybe an interesting video for you guys. Because there's a lot of things to fix on uh, fix about that shoe. Uh, because um, the bottom is peeled, I think. And the... Uh, um, um, the, the, it's just dirty inside now. I feel like a spider's living in it, so I'm gonna have to just hose that down and uh, shake them out and uh, start, uh, you know, working and cleaning on them. So, hope you guys enjoy this video and um, just just keep watching and see what happens. All right, guys. So, um, I'm uh, I'm about to do them. Um, this is how it looks right now. I'm gonna show you guys a, um, a video clip on how they look right now. Um, they look dirty as hell. So. Um, hold on, let me see. Yep, yeah, this is better. Um, they look dirty as hell, so I'm going to show you how they look like. They look ugly. Here we go. You guys, as you saw, that's how dirty they look like. And um, these were my favorite shoes. Um, I got these for a good price, and I love these shoes. I wear them for a long time, so I want to restore that back. So I'm going to spray hose them back, um, down so um, I don't I have to put in my hands inside. And expect a spider so okay, here guys, we go um, I'm gonna step back because I am in my slides right now but uh, here goes nothing put up, put up, let me just position this um, I put this in jet if you guys can see right here jet so yeah, I make some stuff. Hold it down the more it's going to be. See, I'm gonna just turn off the hose here. Um, the shoes uh, look a little bit more better, a little, little bit. Um, so maybe the suds came out, that's weird. but um, they are good, but yeah. Guys, so my uh, phone died, but uh, we're back. Um, as you guys see, all you need is something to uh, you know, wash. So let's say a sponge like this, and you just need some dish soap. And put this right here, uh, yeah, and I'm going to use my tripod and kind of take this. And we're going to go outside, and we're going to clean with these two materials. That's all you need, really, basically just to uh, restore the shoes. Um, you don't need anything else. Um, there is a lot of good products, but um, it takes long for them to order and I don't want you guys to uh, be waiting for a video. So um, yeah, here we All go. All right guys, so um, we're here. Um, these are these shoes, the Ultra Boost that I was talking about. Um, they don't look like Ultra Boost, but yeah, these are, because um, I made sure of it. But for sure, I really want these shoes to, uh, you know, be better again. I want to use them again. So, um, you know, here we are. So, um, yes, these guys, these uh, dudes are really dirty. So, um, of course, I'm going to have to clean them. But, yeah, um, this is going to be in a faster montage. You guys don't have to see me cleaning. 
issues, um, you know, uh, and just like looking at me while I'm concentrating. I'm not even gonna talk. So, um, you know, I'm going to do it uh, in faster montage. But um, I hope you guys see what I'm using. Like I said, I'm using only a sponge and a dish soap. That's all you basically need. But you do need to scrub very good because um, of course you want these, you want the shoes to look good. So yeah, here we go. guys so um as you guys see the, of the big mess we have finally finished the uh first shoe this is the first shoe um i tried my best to uh, clean it and um i guess it's a little bit complicated but um she's there look at it um it looks cleaner than what it looked before so these are for sure better um but uh, now we are going to be clean and we're going to leave this in the suds and uh, We're gonna clean these now Because if you guys see This one looks even worse And I can make it turn like this literally it's just Scrubbing and cleaning I can make it turn like that. So uh, For right now. Yeah, um, I'm gonna uh, keep going with this and See um, if I can even make it look better Because right now it looks horrible. So, um, this video is going to be coming out on Monday because the fact, um, the fact that it's um gonna have to dry. So, yeah, um, that's what's up. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start um cleaning this shoe now. So, here we go. Guys, so as you saw, the uh, tripod was doing bad. So um, I'm gonna have to spread the uh, the, tr the legs a little bit more uh, out so it won't fall. But um, yeah, I'm probably gonna get another tripod because this one is get just getting out of hand. But um, yeah, I, I I just started to look. It's already getting white. So um, yeah, I don't know. Let's keep going because. Um, Camera mistake, no, my, um, I'm sorry about that, so just keep going. So this is for this product, I was doing this to share. Um, as you guys see, my hands were on soap, so I had to wipe it down on my shirt because I didn't have a rag. So as you guys see, here's how they look, finished product. So right now we're about to hold them down. So I'm gonna put them right here. And I'm gonna put the, uh, to my uh, predators here. You guys see, these are the dirty ones. Um, I was gonna make a video on cleaning these, but these are impossible to clean because first they look yellow. And yeah, I can't really restore those. Unless I buy a shoe cleaner that's strong enough to carry out bleach stain, because that is a bleach stain. I put too much bleach into this to the point where it turns yellow. These are my favorite, these were my favorite cleats because um, they were the first cleats I ever bought. But um, there's the other pair over there. I have my Gloros over there. And I'm about to put these over here because um, I'm going to put these somewhere else because these are work shoes that I need to put over here because I don't want to get them wet because we are going to use them later. So we're gonna put them like right over here somewhere. But uh, yeah, we're gonna hold those down. Move my Gatorade. And yes, we're about to turn the uh, hose right now. This is the hose. We're gonna get that. And just turn this on. I never had a hose until um, I moved to this house. I used to uh, this where there was no hose. Well, we did have a hose, but um, we didn't have like this proper hose. We had we just like the sprinkler itself. So, uh, hold on, let me see if this still works. Yep. 
Oop, oop, okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to move my Galoros because these are dry and they're clean, so I don't wanna mess that up. So, um, yep, yeah, here we go. I'm gonna spray you boys down. I'm gonna go from far distance because I do not want to get myself wet, and here we go. They're swimming, basically. Literally swimming. You know what? That's the worst idea I've ever had in my life. We're going to hold these down somewhere else. Because Jesus. Holy. Holy. Okay. Put these somewhere else. Okay. Respect the drip can. Okay. Um. Oh, I can put it in my sister's place. It. But first, let me... Move this. Yeah, these are tangled. They're really tangled. Hold on. Okay, so move this over here. You twist that. Um, okay. Move that. Okay, um. Yeah, we need the hose back over here. Not hosey. Yeah, we're gonna call it the spray gun. Is what we need back. Mm. Okay, you spray gun, <coughs> you're gonna have to go here. So I'm gonna pull that here. So you can untangle. I'm sorry guys that you guys have to see this. Actually, I'm not gonna make you guys see this. Um, I'll catch you guys later. Yeah, so done. we are done with this. Now we have the hose able to extend. It literally just took me one minute after I actually paused the video. Hold up. So we're good. We're Gucci. We're gonna get my shoes. They look lovely right now, but we're gonna make sure they look even lovelier than they are right now. Leave them right there. Get the hose. And we're not gonna make that table over there suffer. We're gonna spray them here. We're gonna make sure they spray well. Alrighty, so we are done now. Um, so they look great. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie, they look great right now. It's full of water. Um, yeah, I'm gonna probably have to hose down the uh, bottom here. For sure, this one has more suds than the others. But yeah, I'm gonna hose down the bottoms right now because um, I don't want that to. Uh, a mess. Okay, that's done. Okay, that's done. So, um, the plan with these is um, let them dry, and um, we're gonna uh, take out these shoelaces and soak them in salt to see if they're great enough. But as you guys see, there's a little pokey dots right here. Yeah, that's um that's the dirt that was on here, so I'm gonna have to hold them down with my hands. Um, I didn't want to get wet, but I guess I had to because if I don't do them right, they're gonna end up with those dots. See how it is? I don't want that. I want pure white because I really want to take care of these back. They look lovely. Look at them, guys. They're not gonna tell me I did a great job. Look at them. I re actually going to restore my old shoes that I really want back. And look. I can restore them. These were my favorite. They were beautiful. So, um, I guess now we're going to uh, uh, set the camera somewhere else so you guys can see me hosing down these properly because um, the thing I did was horrible. 
So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to catch you guys with that. And, yeah, here we go. All right, guys, so literally I actually thought I wet my phone. And I, I, I just looked back to see if it actually did, and I, I didn't. So that's a good thing. But um, we're going to come back over here and show you the final results. Um, here is the uh, right one. As you guys see, it kind of looks all right, you know. The problem with this is, is um, these decreases right here. But um, I, I guess nobody cares about that. It's just that if the shoe is clean and stuff. So here we are. Um, it's clean. But if you guys see right here, I don't know what that is. So, um, yeah, this is not going to be posted on Monday. I swear to you guys, it's not going to be posted on Monday. I'll see what I can post on Monday. Um, but for right now, this is probably going to be posted on Wednesday, maybe even Tuesday. I don't know. Tuesday or Wednesday, possible. But, um, yeah, this is a start for day one on these shoes. Because I want to see if I can get that out. Those are scuff marks for sure. Um, and um, here's the uh, left shoe. Um, it looks flat right here because it doesn't have the tongue out. But as soon as it gets the tongue out, it's, you can, it's a little bit back to normal. But these are the left ones are the more, most uh, cleanest ones than the right ones because again the right ones have scuff marks. Um, I didn't I didn't see that when I was washing them because they were all full in suds. And if you guys see the finished results on my table, literally everything over here got wet, um, suds everywhere. So um, yeah, this is going to be day day one of these shoes. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to keep going with this series of cleaning uh, my Ultra Boost. This video is, of course, going to be long as hell because of the fact about my Ultra Boost. They are um, very dirty. They were sitting in my garage, literally in my garage, for almost half, a year and a half, literally, in my garage. And I just took them out this week with my dad. My dad told me to uh, throw them away. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do a video on back restoring these because first, they st these still fit me. These are literally eight. These still literally fit me. Um, I'm eight. I'm literally eight to eight and a half in shoes, literally. So, um, and cleats, I'm nine for sure. For some reason, cleats, it's one size up of what your size is. So literally, I'm eight to eight and a half. My max is eight and a half. So I um, when I put eight and a half cleats. They don't fit me no more like these these um these barely fit me now they, they kind of squeeze into my toes um they're eight and a half literally so i need to get nines and i'm thinking of getting the new predators the new predator muters that came out so i don't know if that will, will be a possible thing but for right now as you guys see i literally in my shadow i'm literally i have a tripod right there you guys see but yeah this is um the youtube life so hope you guys enjoyed um hope you guys are uh staying safe and um yeah we'll see you guys in day two. you guys thought i was gonna end this video like that no i wasn't so guys i thought of a great idea as soon as i came out i'm back inside that i'm going to put, um i needed to clean these blankets anyways um i'm going to clean the blankets but in the middle of them i'm gonna put the shoes because of course if you know tide takes the on the tough stains out right so let's see if it can take the stains that i'm looking for into these shoes because if you guys see in the gray there's a little parts that are dirty so hope that works so right now i'm going to put this in heavy we are going to put these to wash of course i know there's a uh shoe shampoo that you can use but i just want you guys to like save more money by just literally using this soap to clean them and then using literally this soap to uh, uh, you know take out the stains of the shoes if they don't come out so for right now we're gonna put the my blankets in here to wash because um, anyways they were dirty so I might as well you know just do that um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys when um, I have everything in set. So here we go. Yeah, um, we're gonna have to put these in quick. Um, okay, water, put these in here. Oh, that feels, feels great. All right, put these in here. 
Um, we're gonna put these in the middle and then we're gonna toss this one in. Um, uh, I, got, I was caught off guard with something, but um, we're gonna put these in quick. Um, of course, we gotta put in soap. I forgot to put in the soap. Hold up. Hey everybody, so I put it back in. Um, it's it's working its thing right now. Okay. Hold up, hold up. I want to do something. I want to flip this. I want to put this in the soap so it can sudden. So, um, you know, my shoes can get clean. All right. Now we close it. Now it's doing its thing. So, guys, um, we're going to have to wait until it uh, washes and we'll see how the results go. So we're about to check how they uh, did. Um, I hope they did. All right. Because I know how they are. These shoes were kind of sensitive, so I'm sorry for this uh, horrible camera uh, experience right now. But um, hold up, we are going to take them out from the washer. But first, okay, we obviously both shoes now. Um, oh my God, they turned out pretty nice. Look, bro, not bad, man. Not bad, not bad, not bad, bro. These are beautiful. Yeah, um, probably the last time I do this too, because um, I heard that you can get these can peel off the shoes. So let's get the other pair, see how that did. And I um, hope it did nice. Um, yeah, it did nice as well. It's 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 perfect. So yeah, it did great. It smells good now, and it's shoes I can wear. So. Uh, um, I can't see if I can get the scuff marks, but I mean, that's not important right now. The important part is that I actually got it. So, um, on the scuff mark, I guess I'm going to have to leave it, but thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of uh, me, um, making my Ultra Boost, uh, nice again. And I'm probably going to start wearing them because they're my favorite anyway. So, yeah, drop a like, make sure to subscribe, and, um, see you guys next video.